In this video, we're going to tell if a table is showing repeated addition or subtraction. So our objective is to first recognize whether a table is showing repeated addition or repeated multiplication. And our second objective is to be able to write an equation for the pattern shown in the table. So here's our first example. The table below shows the total number of boxes of cookies that Joyette sells and the total number of cookies from all of the boxes. Does the table show an additive or multiplicative pattern? That's our first question. And our second question is, what is the equation for the pattern in the table? So we have a title for our table, boxes and cookies sold. On the left hand side of the table, we have number of boxes going from one to four. And on the right hand side of the table, we have number of cookies going from eight to 32. So to determine whether or not it is an additive or multiplicative pattern, we must answer the question, what do we have to do to the left side to get to the right hand side? Are we going to add a number over and over again to the left hand side to get to the right hand side? Or are we gonna take the left hand side number and multiply it by the same number every time to get the right hand side? Let's first look at the number first number of boxes. Number of boxes is equal to one. And what do we have to do to one to get to eight? Well, we could add seven. Let's try that first. Let's try our additive pattern first. So we add seven. One plus seven equals eight. Well, let's try two. Two plus seven. Does two plus seven equal 16? No, two plus seven is equal to nine, not 16. So we know it cannot be an additive pattern because we cannot add the same number to all of the numbers on the left-hand side to get to the numbers on the right-hand side. Okay, why don't we try our multiplicative pattern? So additive didn't work. Let's try multiplicative or multiplication. So we're going to ask ourselves the question, what do we have to multiply by the 1 to get to 8? Well, 1 times 8 equals 8. Let's see if 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 times 8, does that equal 16? Well, it sure does. Great. 3 times 8, does that equal 24? Yes, it does. Okay, what about 4 times 8? Does it equal 32? Yes, it does. So since we could multiply all of the number of boxes on the left-hand side of our table by the same number to get the right-hand numbers, we know it is a multiplicative pattern. So that was our first question. Our second question was, what is the equation for the pattern in the table? So we start with our labels inside of the left-hand column, number of boxes. And we're going to write out the words for our equation first. Number of boxes. And I'm going to write that, the words on top and then on bottom just to save space. So number of boxes, we take our number of boxes and we multiply by eight times eight is equal to the number of cookies equals the number of cookies. And that is a word equation. We could sometimes stop there and you will be asked questions at some points that asks you to just write a word equation. So they'll say number of boxes and they'll use the word times, times eight is equal to the number of cookies. Let's see if we can write an equation that's a little bit shorter using letters instead of words. Well, number of boxes, how could we shorten that up to just one letter to represent boxes? Well, since the word boxes starts with B, I'm gonna use a B. B times eight equals number of cookies. What letter could I use to represent the number of cookies? Well, since cookie starts with C, I can use C to represent the number of cookies. So this is just a shorthand way of writing out an equation using one letter to represent several different words. It's kind of like texting. It's just a shorthand way of doing math. So the number of boxes B times eight is equal to the number of cookies. 
All right, let's take a look at our second example. Marco was given $12 on his birthday as a present from a friend. Marco decides to start saving money, and the table below shows Marco's total savings each week. So the title of the table is Marco's Savings. On the left-hand column, it shows us the number of weeks after Marco's birthday. And on the right-hand column, it says Marco's Savings. The number of weeks are 1, 5, 10, and 20. And Marco's Savings are 13, 17, 22, and 32. So does this table show an additive or a multiplicative pattern, and what is the equation for the pattern in the table? Let's start off with one week after Marco's birthday. What do we have to do to one to get to 13? Well, to get from one to 13, we could add 12. Let's try the additive pattern first. One plus 12 equals 13. Okay, great. Now, if it's an additive pattern, we must add the exact same number again. So we added 12 to the 1. We also need to add the 12 to the 5. 5 plus 12, does that equal 17? Well, it sure does. Great. Looks like an additive pattern so far, but we must check all of the numbers in the table. 10. Can we add 12 to 10 and get 22? We sure can. And 20. 20 plus 12, does that equal 32? And it does. So we see in this case, it's an additive pattern because we can add 12 to each of the numbers on the left-hand side of our column to get to the number on the right-hand side of the column. So does this table show an additive or a multiplicative pattern? In this case, it's an additive pattern. What is the equation for the pattern in the table? Well, let's start with the title on the left-hand column, the number of weeks after Marco's birthday or after the birthday. I'm going to abbreviate that a little bit. I'm just going to say the number of weeks. And if we take the number of weeks and we add 12, it should be equal to Marco's savings. I'm going to abbreviate that using the word savings. So notice sometimes we use just one word to represent several different words. And we can also use letters to represent the whole word. So what letter could we use to represent the number of weeks? Since week starts with W, I'm going to use W to represent the number of weeks. So the number of weeks plus 12 is equal to, and since saving starts with S, I'm going to use S for savings. I have to be real careful when making my S's because sometimes they look like fives. So I'll try to make that look like an S. Week plus 12 equals savings. And there you go. We've determined whether a table shows an additive or a multiplicative pattern, and we've written an equation for the pattern in the table.